Good evening, everyone. A very warm welcome to all for the webinar on Create Yourself Portrait Using a Dog Design, organized by DG Saksham in association with Scenes Welfare Foundation. And I'm Sampada Mishra, the host of today's session. Now, coming to the organization, Scenes Welfare Foundation is a professional, non for profit organization established to work in the areas of education, social welfare, women empowerment skill development and entrepreneurship, livelihood generation and employability, international cooperation, environment protection, etc. Registered with Niti Aayog and MSME. Also recognized as the best service award for significant national contribution from ITS Education Group. TG Saksham is an initiative of Seams Welfare Foundation and has developed content for over 300 courses in multiple languages which range from four hours to six months in various sectors of IT, BSFI, retail, and entrepreneurship for all age, age groups from social, school children, youth professionals to senior citizens with over 6,000 trainings till date. Talking about the topic, Adobe InDesign is a desktop publishing software program application that is offered by Adobe System such as uh, the software supports the creation of portraits layout for print publications, such as books and brochures, as well as digital content, such as eBooks, mobile apps, and interactive documents. The user can choose from a wide range of tools, ranging from image overlays to hyperlink or footnote insertion, depending on their needs. Today we have Mrs. Bhakti Obroy with us, who is a UI communication designer, who is currently working at Photon Tadpole Studios as design director. She's also visiting faculty at Indian School of Design. She has over 20 years of experience in design. She's from JJ School of Arts and she has a Bachelor of Fine Arts from the Savannah College of Art and Design, USA. I'm glad to have you here with us, ma'am. Before moving into the webinar, I request everyone to make sure your mics are on mute. If you have any queries, raise your hand or please type them on the chat box. Ma'am will be addressing them at the end of the session or in between the session. Over to you, ma'am. Hey guys, so uh, it's been nice uh, to you know how do this on a Sunday evening. Uh, usually I'm uh, chilling in, in on Sundays with my little daughter and uh, you know it's uh, early evening uh, because we have a hectic schedule so it's nice to have this uh, to do today because um, InDesign is something I've been using almost now for decades like ever since it came out and uh, we used to use a software called Cork Express before that. And then it's been in design forever. So um, Adobe is fantastic when it comes to any design softwares, and uh, the skill set that you know, uh, you know, if one develops using this, it, it can be used on multiple you know things and multiple media. So um, what uh, when you know um, Vandana contacted me, I was like, yeah, it's great because. Getting to know a skill set and a software is the, is, is the beginning. It's the beginning of being able to express your creativity. And then, of course, you know, you guys can go as in depth or, you know, as far as you can go with uh, getting to know the basics, getting interested in it, and uh, then, you know, uh, discovering things yourself. So um, I teach uh, at the Indian School of Design. And one of the things I always tell my students is, um, you know, the like as a teacher or a guide, uh, guidance counselor or whatever, just as a guide or a mentor. Um, I prefer to, you know, not handhold fully. I think it's good to get started with, you know, just a few foundation basics, uh, fundamentals, explain those, and then have all of you guys pick it up yourself and then discover things yourself, because that is true learning. If I would give you everything from point A to point Z, then there is no journey or discovery. So one of the things which I want to do in this, uh, you know, um, workshop or a webinar, whichever you call it, is get you guys started uh, and also talk about some of the fundamentals of design. So I uh, did my undergraduate uh, at the Savannah College of Art and Design, which is called SCAD. It's in the U.S. And um, yeah, I did it like a while back. So um, about two decades back. So it's been a while. But the fundamentals have been useful to me all throughout. Even when I teach my students today, I take in all of those. Because see, today you might be using InDesign. Tomorrow there might be another software. 
um, that keeps changing. Just as you know, social media keeps changing, the world will keep changing. But what will stay with you is some of the fundamentals and the basics. So I'm going to cover a bit of it, very basic again, just to get you guys started. And um, I would love to you know have you guys ask questions. Um, let me tell you also one thing that I'm not like the biggest pro in terms of InDesign because what happens there's a lot of shortcuts there's a lot of uh, tricks and trips and all of that and I'm sure you guys can YouTube multiple videos and you'll get all of that individually based on what you guys are working on but what I want to cover is something which is uh, again basic but something to get you get started and also something where you know say just in case you know somebody comes up to you and says hey can you do this brochure or can you do this, you know, like an online thing or, you know, uh, somebody in your family is starting a business which has been so popular during the pandemic from home and they want to set up a menu or, you know, your, um, your I don't know if you guys are married or if a demographic, but I have a kid and sometimes she wants to just display her stuff and, uh, you know, uh, put in all her artwork. Or if you're a parent, uh, you can put in all your kids' artwork and, you know, their essays. Or if you guys are in college, which most of you guys are, um, students or I mean I mean definitely what I'm trying to say is like the mediums that this can be used is so many so I'm going to do some simple stuff um, which is just to you know set up a layout and either publish it online or how do you set up you know to get it printed online is the way to go now I think nobody prints stuff as much especially because we are still riding amongst the pandemic um, and so uh, it's 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 just simple basic stuff to get started so it's not going to be very um, you know, uh, in depth yet, because I feel like once you get started in this, you will automatically develop like some kind of an interest and then push your guys yourselves into it. Okay, so um, basics of InDesign along with some fundamental design basics. Uh, so I have, I'm actually a graphic design major and then I did a multiple other classes in uh, web design. Web design was the thing when I graduated. Now, of course, it's UI UX and I've transitioned myself. Um, again, the same fundamental state, whether I'm doing UI UX design or my big love, which is print media, everything stays similar. So I'm going to touch base on some of those. Uh, what I would love is for you guys is to ask questions or anytime through. Maybe uh, if it's too technical, don't worry about it. Um, you can always, like I said, get this information online and Google it in depth. But if you have questions regarding, uh, you know, any layouts or concepts, then that'll be great. And of course, towards the end, I can take in whatever questions you want. So this is not, I would say, like a tutorial, which is like step one, step two, step three. This is more like, hey, you guys want to use InDesign, you guys want to do something fun, let's get started, okay? So um, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to open, of course, the, you know, the software. So I'm going to share my desktop. Um, if, are you guys, if there's anybody who can't see, just put in a thumbs up or whatever. So this was my work desk. This is everything. I keep changing this because I think we have to surround ourselves with inspiring things each day to get us going, especially being in the pandemic. And that's my little setup at home because I'm still working from home. And, uh, you know, these are just things that reflect me. And that brings me to the topic of what I want to work on this, which is a self-portrait. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, opening InDesign. So usually I use an Apple Mac uh, because I think the color co uh, collaborations, the color, I mean, the screen, the way it's coordinated uh, along with, you know, the way Adobe works, it's fantastic. I personally feel uh, it's the best, but you guys are free to use Adobe on any platform in that sense. So I'm going to click on this. And yes, I did do a bit, uh, you know, sort of like a uh, like a rough sketch as to what I wanted to go about, but I'm going you know, to start from scratch. So one of the things I can um, recommend you guys is to, uh, you know, work with me. I'm not going to be in a very fast phase. Uh, two reasons I don't like to be too fast is because, you know, as humans, our attention span is, uh, you know, it's in pauses. It's, it's not like on the go. Um, and... Um, you know, if you guys are doing this along with me or you guys are doing it at home on your pace, uh, I just want you to, you know, just take it easy and do it in a, you know, a slow pace so you can figure out things. So you can, you know, start with me on this or you guys can, you know, record it. Or, I mean, see the, the session later on. Either way is fine. And then I'll be taking a pause for questions if there are any. And you guys can, of course, you know, um, 
put all your stuff on the chat um if yeah sometimes you know i'm doing something and i'm like oh hey i have something uh, that's great but what will happen is i won't be able to address it right away because my chain of thought goes a certain way but i'll definitely look at the chat box um every few minutes etc and then we can go back and forth so i hope i'm audible enough it's one of those things which i check in and if there's anything just please raise your hand yeah i mean i'll put or just you raise your hand or just a thumbs up or whatever and that's great all right okay so um okay oh i just made like an annotation all right okay so what we're going to start first with is you know this is your software this is how it appears um i'm going to just make the screen uh, smaller on the size and uh sampada everybody can see the screen right all good yeah all right okay okay so these are some of the things which will appear and what i'm going to do is tell you the practicality of it i uh oh one second i think it's annotating uh sampada can you see how why is it annotating usually it doesn't you know uh, get that yeah one second along this yeah i'll just make sure because yeah. my annotation is off um just a I second why it's yeah okay so i'm going to go ahead so there are a few boxes which will crop up you know leave them these are my you know so i want i'm going to do is i'm going to shut them all right now and um you know whenever we see a new software it is intimidating i mean i don't know what you guys what level are you guys at I, either it's super introductory today or you guys have you know dabbled with it a bit no worries um the best thing to do is uh, go with you know the things i'm opening up and then you know you guys can get to know it more and more it's like when you meet a new person you know you want to ask the name and then you you know just kind of say like, oh, okay with how they look and then you get to know him you know little by little so i'll tell you what is essential and then the rest you can just like add and later okay so this is where you know this is how the panel appears for those of you guys are uh, you know use photoshop um you know and illustrator then it's very similar uh, and um i prefer indesign to page maker and any of other softwares any day because you can transfer things very easily so you can do a photoshop file transfer it into here illustrator file and then you can work like simultaneously very well so the seamlessness makes it fun you know all right so we're going to go quickly on this so this is usually you know they'll talk about uh, you know the apple the uh, you know the, the preferences etc etc so we're going to go get into the preferences um the reason that i want to introduce this is because sometimes it's good to have everything customized okay so we're going to open this general box first um some of the i think i still have those uh, scratch marks i i have um, no idea why yeah um, can you do one thing can you just, I, uh, share screen again uh, just cancel it yeah i'm going to do that yeah i'm going to do that because it's going to come in the way all right i'll do that yeah, all right yeah i think that should be good just a second yeah it's gone now yeah i love zoom but then sometimes zoom acts weird so i guess we all used to this okay so we're back on this general so i'm not going to again go in all of these details i'm going to talk about a few things and why would that be important to set as preferences okay so we going to skip this in terms of you know you can do the numbering this is a page numbering we can skip a few things here and i'm going to go in a little because i'm doing the basic first and then we can go in uh, you yeah. know um what i like to do is um keep all these markers on uh, these are things where you know how you you see the interface and a lot of times these are already checked in when you get it um what you can do is you know these responses delayed or whatever where you know the it it doesn't go too fast so that you know the hand tools are uh, you know uh, the vectors or whatever that we do they are not extra fast so you know you can maintain your pace uh, i don't know why i'm getting these markers again but i think i'm just going to because my annotation is not on and i'm just going to ignore that okay okay and then we have um, yeah so the good thing here is to keep this on high quality um, the live screen drawing on delayed and then of course you can have all of these things on uh the panels and the not important right now i won't go into detail i'll come back to it later um these are again the check boxes which you can keep on uh, these are again preset um i'm just telling you what to keep on right now and then we'll come back to it this is what is important the composition okay um in this what it does is it's the text you know whether you want a custom kerning or track 
hype, uh, the HNG, I'll come on all of that. But right now, what you can put on is a substitute fonts. Units and increments is another important page because we are always um, doing layouts with measurements. For example, I need to print something. I need to be able to set it in the printing box. Um, I think there is some default setting because there are these stars and stuff. Uh, I have no idea. Is there like an annotation on? I guess, ma'am, we have to change the setting. It's from the participant's side. We're really sorry. Yes. We'll just, yeah, we'll just yes. So this. can I? Yes, yes. I would prefer. Guys, I know it's fun to annotate, but I'm kind of uh, distracted with stars on my screen. So I'm going to stop share one more time. And, uh, you know, it'll be nice if you guys cannot annotate right now. Yeah. And uh, somebody can, uh, the default setting can be changed. So then there is not, can you do that? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to just stop share and reshare again. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah. So guys, I know it's fun to annotate, but I think it might be easy not to. Okay. All right. So we're coming on the most important thing here. And this is where you decide, you know, um, what kind of metric system do you want? I operate really well in inches, but of course, you can have all the, you know, you can have points, you can have millimeters, centimeters. The other ones are just, you know, they're not important. You don't want to go into all of these. They just give these just for the heck of it. So just to tell you what is important to us, points and pikas are where fonts are measured, okay? It's like how many lead points make like a font. I can go into that in another discussion. But uh, we don't need to worry about that for this unless you're designing type. That's all you're doing. You want to have an entire document to design type, meaning you're actually creating the letter A, etc. Then we can stick to that. Otherwise, the best thing to do for us is inches, millimeters, or centimeters. The reason and and um, and either than that pixels. Okay. The reason that we stick to these is because pixels connects us to the web, because that's how measurements are where, uh, done on the internet. Uh, it's the pixels are the dots, the dots per mm -hmm. inch that fill up your screen. Uh, somebody, I think somebody is on unmute. Yeah, could you just mute that? Thank you. Um, and then you have uh, inches, millimeters, and centimeters. Locally in India, centimeters, I think, is very popular. Uh, but I think I go by inches. And the reason we need to stick to these measurements is because when we are outputting our files, then we know exactly the kind of paper, the kind of printing uh, printing options, and all of that. Because sizes are important, right? We need to like be within the parameters. Okay. So I'm going to keep the inches to uh, uh, the the units to inches. And the stroke, I'm going to leave it to points because I just understand strokes. Strokes are the lines that we make. I'm going to leave it to that. And then we're just going to do 72 points per inch. Again, like a quick thing, 72 points per inch is like there are 72 points, dots of lead in one inch that made, make up a letter. This is a standardized metric system. Standardized because then, you know, you have a standardized system and then you base everything on top above all of that. For example, you know, one inch is uh, X, Y, Z centimeter and one feet, uh, one foot is X, Y, Z in inches, blah, blah, blah. So this is points per inch in terms of like the point size. Okay. And uh, then these are the things which are just like the, uh, uh, you know, the, the base uh, keyboard settings. And you don't need to worry about that. I'm not going to complicate it. Again, like I said, we can do another session which goes in depth, but right now I'm going to give you guys the information which you can retain on. Okay, uh, so this is it. Then we go on to grids and, uh, you know, if you guys want to have fun, you can change the grid color. I like blue. I'm okay to be with that. And, you know, where do you start in? Um, so you can just stick on that right now. And uh, again, let this be right now. And what we're going to go on to is these. So if you need more columns and grids, you can change these colors. Um, this is a snap, meaning like how close you are and how you want to align everything. So leave these settings as they are. These usually come default like this, okay? Dictionary, again, you know, if you guys are keying in stuff because it's primarily a typesetting, you know, software, you can control all of these. Uh, again, these are all default settings and leave them at this point. Spellings, again, all are default, autocorrect, all of that. So right now we can leave, okay, all of these. And then, um, again, leave the settings, all of these, they should be okay. What is important to me is the... Um, display performance okay and here it's it's how i see things on my screen uh, so i like to keep them in the center 
you know, because if it's too high quality, it's going to take up a lot of memory while working. And, you know, you don't want to work at a slow pace. You want to like, you get with it. So I keep them kind of in the center. And this is called a Greek type. Um, Greek type is a term or a jargon used in design where, you know, um, we just put like gibberish type just to fill in the type. And then you can put in the exact text. So I used to work for a publication house. And uh, what happens is when they're designing the pages. So I used to work for Condonas. And what happens is, um, you know, with them, they have all these articles come in. And we have to do the layout regardless of the finalization of the article, like or like a Vogue or, you know, a traveler, etc. But we have to make the layouts and then we have to put in the text last because, you know, everything is happening simultaneously. So Greek text is something which allows me to look at text, not in that gibberish way, but, uh, you know, like in a decent way. So this is something which I can change to two as a default so that I can see it properly. And I'll tell you how it makes a difference. Um, so this is something which I always click on. And then, you know, appearance again, you know, this is... Uh, don't need to worry about this right now, all of this. The last two, this one is more about like, you know, how you uh, ship a file out. Ship a file out means, you know, when you're sending it to the printer, etc. And, you know, the things which are important are find the missing links. And I'll, I'll go, go to what this is mean later. But keep these things on. And uh, again, these should be the settings. So when, you, when you're going to look at this, um, you know, and pause and see this later on and play it, just remember the important things. I'm going to go back is you're going to go on to units and increments, okay? That's what matters because this is where you want to set up this and display and performance, like literally, you know? This is all that matters. So don't worry about all the extra thing at this point, okay? So units and increments and the display performance, okay? I think you should be okay for now because all the other default settings are fine. All right, so we're going to get started. Now we're going to open a file. So what I want to do I'll go on to what I want to, you know, get you guys started on. So, um, you know, when we think of self-portrait, we think of um, like a painting. We think of like, you know, your picture or a selfie, you know. Uh, I'm not from the selfie generation. I would say I still don't understand the whole concept. But um, what I like about it is self-reflection, okay. Um, and the medium is something which I'm not going to use like a very popular medium today where you know usually it's a photograph in a way which is a selfie or it's a painting or a portrait with acrylics or whatever we're not going to do that what we're going to do today is something a bit different okay and again i request you guys not to annotate your screens or anything so uh please you know if you by mistake annotate it there is a button you can just cancel it okay uh, I think they're still getting annotated. So just please cancel it because it's going to come in the way. Okay. All right. So we're going to get started now. Um, we go on to this thing called new. So I lose a lot of shortcuts. So shortcut for this is command or control N. And here you can have this document. Uh, we'll do the document now because we don't want to book a book or library. So we're just going to have like a default. The number of pages we're going to start with for this particular one is four. All right. And we're going to have facing pages means they're facing each other. Right. The size I'm going to go with, um, I'm just going to go with the letter size, but these are standard sizes. Okay, let's just do a custom size just because for, you know, it'll be more fun. So we do a custom size. Custom size means we're just going to, you know, kind of like, so we're just going to call this, this self portrait. And then we're going to change the size. I really like, um, eight by 10. So I'm just going to kind of have it eight by 10. So this is again in inches. The orientation I want it to be uh, this way. I don't want it to be landscape, so it's portrait. Um, and yeah, we're still getting these annotations. So uh, I still don't know why. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to go to the next column, uh, which is column. Column means how you're dividing your space. Okay. And gutter is the space between it between two columns. So think about, you know, you open your drawer in your kitchen, you have columns for everything, and then you have that space that divides it. So what I tend to do is I like to use columns in multiples. And this is one of those, you know, I'm going to you know, do a, uh, this is like a design fundamental, which I use. I like to use multiples of eight, uh, just the way there's music and there are, you know, uh, the sur, and then 
the divisibility becomes easier when it comes to eight. So I like to have that kind of a, you know, um, like I, I would say like a field to play with and then I can decide how much I want to do plus minus. So I, I love starting with eight columns sometimes and then the gutter space, I leave it to very minimum or sometimes I'm just good with like a 0.25. And then these are the margins. Margins means, you know, how much space you want to leave on all the other sides. Now, this is very important because when you're printing things, the printer needs to grip things, you know, and sometimes things will bleed out. So you have to understand how much you want to leave around sides. And the other thing is when you're making a book, you need to bind on the side. So you need to leave some space over there. So these are the reasons we have margins. Okay. So I'm going to leave it to this default 0.5 because I think that's a great size. And I'm just going to say, okay, and save these. Okay. So we're going to get this new document now. Um, and now what I'm going to do is go into um, this, uh, the window and I'm going to start putting those boxes, which I need. Okay, so this is your toolbox, which is always be there. And this is the, the panels that we need. So I'm going to start with pages because we need to add pages. Um, I'm sorry, there's a, can I just type? Okay. Is this some, uh, should I, uh, uh, Sampatha, should I accept this so it can be clear, the dots? Or there was some thing. There is some setting with the Zoom, ma'am. I have no idea how to, you know, because this is from the participant okay. side. Uh, so we are trying to yes. fix it. Yeah, no, I think the only thing I can request all the participants is uh, if you guys have annotated by mistake, no problem. Just delete it. Yeah, it, it can just yeah. be deleted. Okay. You can yeah. go to the option and erase it and delete it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, so we're going to go on to uh, pages first and I'll, I'll open all of these boxes one by one. Okay. So we're going to go to pages and there's this thing called a master. Okay. So that's a master page. Now you can create as many master pages. Master pages is as simple as having like one base thing where you can set it up there. So you don't have to set it up every time. So it's setting like a template. Okay. So what we're going to do, and because we did four pages and facing pages, it's like this. So we're going to double click on master pages. Okay. Now, when we double click on a master page, and I'm just going to do this as a setting just to just to show you and just generally type something. Um, what happens is whenever you have a master page, it shows up on that. So it shows up on the, so whenever we want to set up something which is consistent, page numbers, certain, you know, oh, I need a text on this, I need an image on this. Then you do it on the master page so it shows up. And you can have as many master pages. So you can have like multiple ones. For today's thing, we are not gonna, you know, um, set up a master page because all our four pages are gonna look different. But if you do wanna set up a master page, you set it up over here, for example, oh, you know, we could probably do a page number. So maybe let's just do that. And maybe set up only the even page numbers. So we're just gonna have say one over here, for example, and then put this over here, align it here. So we're going to have one and one, but of course I'm going to change this to three. So you can have, you know, that, all right. So that's the master page. So you can make in your columns, you can make in any changes on your master page. And if you don't want the master page, then you can just do this. Now, how do you drag and add more pages? I already put four pages because I knew the size that I wanted in the default setting in the, in the you know, when we did the opening, but I changed my mind and I'm going to add like 20 more pages, suppose. So what you can do is you can either drag these and then add them and do as many spreads, single or double, and you can keep adding them. And you want to add an extra master page, you can just, you know, do a new master. You know, you can call it B. I can call it maybe, you know, page number, um, whatever, whatever I want to, sorry. I mean, I can only do like four letters, sorry. So it will be like a page number or something. And this could be the page number master page. Or we don't need that and we can just like, you know, delete it. So this can be thrashed in, okay? So that's as easy as going back and forth. And the other thing we can do is insert pages just from here and say, I've decided I want to have, you know, 25 pages more after page eight. So I'm going to go ahead and put 25 pages more. Okay. So this is where you can control the number of pages. And the best part is if I don't need this page, I'm just going to delete it. I don't need page 25. I'm just going to delete it. So you can go back and forth. It doesn't matter. 
for our current thing i'm not going to need anything more than four pages because we have only like about 20 minutes for all of that so we're just going to go ahead and delete this okay and i'm going to delete this as well so we have our four pages okay so this is the pages all right so um i hope it's clear so far and i'm going to do a couple more thing and then we'll take like some questions so now we're going to go and go on to um this thing called um you know uh, styles okay this is the second most important thing which i would say and the styles is there is cell styles character styles object styles object styles paragraph styles what we do concentrate today is the two basic ones and then the other ones we can do in like you know detailed sections okay so the character styles is uh, what i use a lot and i use and of course there are always shortcuts that i use so you can always learn these shortcuts so i'm going to open character styles and the other thing i'm going to open is um just a second i think it's got a little slow paragraph styles okay now what is a character style and what is a paragraph style okay and then of course i've opened a few multiple ones also with it that comes on to from these styles um character and paragraph character means one letter individual letters and paragraph means the entire you know gamut of words together okay so these are the two things which we're going to use on and i'm going to show that to you a bit later uh, but we're going to set up these and i'm going to come back to it the other thing which i want to open is color so i'm going to open this separately and then for now i should be okay with these things okay um and we can open stroke because the stroke sometimes is nice to control that and i think you know that should be uh, that should be okay for now okay yeah so this is paragraph and what i like to do is drag them out so that you know i can just keep using them you know on over the other that kind of all right so um to get started now all of these things are then and we will keep now what are the elements of a layout any graphic design it's uh, it's words and its pictures and then you just see play around that in the space and you arrange them in a way where you know you want to know where what would fit now think about where you guys are sitting now like look around your rooms or if you're in an outdoor space or wherever you guys are there's an arrangement there's a layout for example you know there is this layout here and there's like a demarcation of space and this this whole thing is like you know um like checkered and then uh, balanced it out in terms of putting this here putting this there and then there's white space because then that i can find things for example if there's no negative space here or blank blank space then i'm not going to be able to remove this or uh, use this so anytime we arrange something we see not only the space of where it is kept but how is it kept with other things and that's essentially what is a layout so we're going to start a layout so um what i'm going to start with is um getting in um you know uh, just a basic title because i want to title this uh, self portrait so i'm going to take in and this is yeah this is a toolbox so this will always be there i'll go over these also in detail but right now we'll just focus on whatever this so this is the type text uh and once we do this i'm going to take like 2 minutes for you know uh, questions if there are any so we take the type text and what we do is we click and drag okay that's the way you work on these you click and drag and then i'm going to oh, and i'm going to do something very important which is very essential guys do it all the time i'm going to go and save this because i might be working and i might be having something really important and i might not get saved so i'm just going to call this the self portrait Oh, what's going on? Hold on. Portrait. Okay, and I'm going to save it. All right. So that's it. Now, what I'm going to start is a is a word. So, what I want you guys to think about in this particular thing is uh, what is the one word that defines you? It could be anything. It could be something quirky, something silly, something uh, you know, just uh, just something very very honest, something very you know, which you're not shared. um the word that i would like to use right now is relevant because i i i love this word and the reason i like this word is because i have now i'm in this field for 20 years and the one thing that i want to keep always being is being relevant and staying on top of things and adapting myself 
So uh, what I'm going to title this is uh, relevant. Now we're going to come on to the section on top here. This is where you choose the fonts. So you have this thing, this panel here. And uh, a good thing to choose is uh, I can do another session with you guys anytime on font pairing, etc. But a good way to start is a good sans serif and a serif font together. And um, it's just like the way we pair food, you know, we'll have dal with chow, or we'll have, you know, uh, paroti and, you know, uh, maybe sabzi, or, you know, you have like a ramen with a broth. So we pair fonts in a way where it kind of complements each other. So what I like to do is doing like a serif and a sans serif, or sometimes two serifs and two sans serifs. So today I'm going to do a sans serif and a serif. Serif is fonts, uh, are fonts which have things jutting out on the side, and sans serifs are fonts which don't have anything. They're just, you know, clear cut, okay? So what I'm going to choose is um, Garamond, because it's just one of my ultimate favorite font. So I'm going to, so that's chosen. And then I'm going to decide the size. So this is again the point size, which gets decided here. Uh, these are all the metrics that we need. For example, you want to make it central, you want to make it left aligned, you want to make it right aligned. Uh, this is how much you want to offset it from the, you know, the, the margins. This is if you want to make it, you know, uh, justified, non-justified. Um, this is again, do I want to increase the leading? So what leading is the tracking. Tracking is the space between uh, words. How do you remember that? Uh, just remember how, you know, railway tracks, Railway tracks are never coinciding, right? It's You have to space them out, the railway tracks, right? Because otherwise it's not going to work. So tracking is something where you space the letters, where they don't fall on top of each other. Um, I mean, in terms of the... And then there's called kerning. So kerning and tracking are similar. Kerning is between the letters. So for example, between R and E, that's kerning. And between relevant and maybe I'm putting another word, between those words, that's tracking, Okay. So these are the two jargons and we can do that later in. So we adjust the tracking and the kerning over here and these metrics, all of them bold, unbold, etc. So right now I'm just going to go ahead with, um, I think I, I want to do 150 points. I like the size of that because it kind of, you know, goes and I think I'm going to write uh, like, like write a small R and I'm going to kind of left align it because I like the way it gets left aligned. And I don't want it to position here. So I'm just going to move it and position it over here. I'm going to remove the, I'm going to go back to the master page and remove the one because I kind of don't want a page number here. I'm just going to keep this. Okay. So we put in the fonts. Okay. I'm going to save it quickly again. And the next thing we do is color. Okay. And then visuals. So we're going to do one step at a time. Now you can also control your fonts from here. Okay. We can control them from here on this panel. I can hold this here and do that. And I'll come back to your char character styles and uh, paragraph styles in a bit. We we'll just set up the layout. Now we need a uh, color. And after that, we're going to get images. So color is very simple. And this is another thing I like to do. I like to, uh, we're going to open another thing called swatches. Wait, I think it's already open. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some colors. And um, I like to create my own palette. I don't like to take default settings because I just feel that, you know, they're too standardized. So I'm going to do like a nice shade of, uh, you know, maybe gray, like a rich gray. So it's like a 40, uh, you know, 10, 10 kind of a gray. Um, okay, and I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, this is going to be my uh, seconds going on. Yeah. Hold on a moment. This is the thing that I'm going to use. Oh, sorry. Just went on the top one. Um, and, oh, yeah. And then you can just change the graph. I like to have specific numbers. So I like to, you know, um, go on to that. And then we're going to go on to the swatches. Swatches is like where you can see your colors when you formed your colors. Wait, why didn't it open? Yeah. Okay. So I formed my color. The color that I formed is uh, going to be over here. So when I have this color, this is a gray I made and I'm going to save it over here. I'm going to drag it and either I can call it, I love, you know, sometimes naming colors and stuff. I can name it and I can call it like the, you know, the, the funky gray. I'm just making like really lame name. But what I mean to say is you can either call it that or, uh, you know, you can do as per the coordinates, okay? 
So I'm going to go ahead and make a little bit of a color palette. So I'm going to do, I'm going to go to swatch and do a new color swatch. So it's going to come here. And I like to set up five colors to start with. That's a good palette to go about. And don't ever use these default ones. They're just hideous. So I'm going to go with a gray, like a neutral. I'm going to go with another beige neutral because I love neutrals. And they always act like great, great, um, you know, base, uh, negative white space, positive white space. So I'm going to take another color and I'm going to name this on the value. And I'm going to make another color swatch. And uh, this one is going to be a bit of like a, you know, a muted um, orange-ish. Or, uh, okay, you know what, I'm just going to go a bit girly and make it a bit teal, okay? So you guys can just put in any uh, color, that's really... I tend, I, I tend to like a little bit dull colors. You guys are more than welcome to pick whatever works, okay? So I'm going to call this uh, the, the teal color that I want. And then I'm going to do a nice uh, smoked uh, pink. Uh, yeah, a bit girly, but it's okay. I'm going to just allow myself. So it's going to be like a really deep... Pink. Another thing that when you're, you're using colors for uh, fonts, try not to use more than three coordinates. So I'm just going to leave it like at two right now, but maybe this is a bit too big, I think. So I'm just going to go ahead with this. So I can name it anyways, okay? So I've started with uh, two colors, and then I'm going to do maybe a brown or something, whichever, because I like that kind of a template. Um, what I do like is to stick this with white for now, okay? So now we're done with colors, we're done with putting the fonts in. Now we're gonna go images, okay? Um, so what is the image thing? So this panel here, again, we don't need to know everything right now, but this are the, this is like the, the box that we need, click and drag again for images. The cross that comes, that's an image. And what we do is we double click on it to get the size. So are my size is okay, I've done this way. And then we go onto the panel and you know we're gonna hold on a second. So we're gonna um, use like we're gonna fill in uh, images or we're gonna fill in uh, colors. Hold on a second. I'm just gonna have one more. Yeah, the sizes are fine. Okay. Uh, sorry. So I used the command uh, option D, and uh, that is to fill in the image. Now, what I have done is saved in some images. So I'm just going to take in an image that I had used of mine and put in over here. So what I did is I did option command D. So that opens, you know, my desktop. Then I select the picture I want. I want to take the, the poster. I open it. So I get this and then it, it fits in on, it fits into this. Uh, I'm going to do one more. So I'm just going to do copy, command C, command V, which is copy paste, do a command D because I want to get this one and then it fills it up. And I wanted to color this, so I put this in the back, but I'm not going to use this. I'm just going to delete it. So what I'm going to do is face, put this in the back because I, I like using this image. This is an image I took. It was, uh, I'm into old school photography. So this is the image that I used long back where I had a Pentax camera. And I literally took a picture in front of, and this is way before selfies became selfies. Now, what has happened here is when you double click on this, you get this hand tool. That's when you can move it around, okay? And you can make it lesser uh, or bigger. So what I want to do is shrink it a bit, click and drag again, okay? And I wanna use this and then I wanna do, I wanna send it to back. So there I go to object, arrange, on, I need to select the object. One second. So I select it, object, arrange, send to back. So guess what happens? It goes on the back in the order and this comes in. Now that I see this image, I feel that, huh, the word is getting lost. So either let me change the size, let me, you know, see how I can fit it in, or let me move the word as I want. So what I'm going to do is kind of just move the word up here because I think it kind of works over there. And then I'm going to take the text box tool because I feel the gray is not working. So I'm just going to use a white. And I think this is okay for me. Um, and then I'm just going to leave it at this right now and move on to the next page. So um, I'm going to drag this over here. Um, and now we're just going to do, we're going to get into character, character styles and paragraph styles. But uh, before that, I'm just going to ask if anybody has any questions. 
that uh, need to be addressed, then I can like you know. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. We have. So I can have two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So the first question. And if they are general is, questions, sorry? yeah, the general questions. If they are general questions, we can do it later. Ma'am, if they're specific to layout. If there are general questions, we can do it later. If they're specific to layout, then we can do it right now. Okay, so no, I guess it's pretty general. They asked which is the best version of Adobe Photoshop. Okay, uh, and... Photoshop is something which I'm not talking about right now. The yeah. latest version is the best version. Uh, you know, you can just get on the website and they'll have all the details and if they update, it's basically a subscription service and you can sign on to that. And, uh, you know, you can use in whatever version works uh, for you. Uh, the later the version, the better, because it's just, there are lesser bugs. It's more uh, updated and, the, you know, the, the skill set is just easier for you to, uh, so yeah, so it goes for anything, but uh, I won't be ask, answering Photoshop questions, but it goes for, you know, everything. Yeah, any other questions? And how, uh, how to start creating your portrait? Like uh, the person was a bit late, so can you just give me a, okay. give a small brief? Yeah, so I think, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and ask you to rewind and see it because then it'll be wasting my current time right now, okay? This is a part of the process and I'm gonna, I'm going with it. So just, uh, it's fine, just continue seeing from now and then rewind it later and see the thing earlier, okay? Perfect. Okay. Um, yeah, and what is the other one? I think, uh, yeah, is yes. this the one on the chat? InDesign used to create magazines? Yeah. Yes. Yes, so Aaron, yes, it is used for magazines. Uh, I, I used to work for Condonas and another publication house as well. And yes, all magazines are created on InDesign. Um, I still make coffee table books, etc. One of my clients is the museum, the Baudaji Lal Museum. And uh, every time we get a book done each year, it's done on uh, you know, InDesign. Yeah. So, um, okay, and then we have another question, Lalit. Sampala, uh, should I answer it? Yeah. So what right. setting should be kept for newspapers? So, so yeah, Lalit, uh, that's a great question. Newspaper have their own settings and the columns and the width. Uh, so the best thing is to understand what the size is. For example, a Sunday midday size is different from a Times uh, or uh, you know an Indian Express because it's large format printing and smaller printing. So the best way is to, for any sizing, is to talk to the printing press and understand what is a paper size. And depending on the paper size, you set up your size of this. So for this, I've just set up an eight by 10, so I can have you guys print this in your local printer at home, or your recipe, you know, corner paper printer, Xerox, they can do it because it's within a, it's within an A4 size, yeah? So um, that's that question. And uh, lo the other question is, can we design a logo by using this? Yes, you can, but designing a logo is best on Illustrator. And then you can, just the way we drag the file in this, like this is something which I have created in, you know, by hand and I've dragged the file into it. Um, yeah, so that is the best way to create on Illustrator. And then the other question is, how do I make a picture frame in InDesign? So I'm thinking picture frame means uh, collage. Is that what uh, the question is? Uh, if that is a thing, you do the same thing where you put in images. So what you do is you take your photographs on either you take it on your phone or you do it in InDesign or Photoshop. You save those as JPEGs, JPGs or, you know, any other format. And uh, then what you do is um, you save that digital file and then you embed it just the way I've embedded this. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go back into the layout quickly. And... Um, this is the two images that I embedded in it. And I'm going to embed one more image and I'll tell you, you know, what was, again, it goes on to command D. Uh, so, you know, you take in an image and the image that I'm taking is this. And I'm going to um, put it here. Sorry, I have to take another text box. I, I, I'll open another box. So the box that we open is this, you know, the rectangular box. And then we take in the image and we just place it over there, okay? So the images are digital images. You can take it from your phone and just transfer that or uh, take it into Photoshop, whichever, okay? So I hope that answers all your questions for now. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, so this is a thing. So now what, what do we add in the self-portrait? What images, okay? So what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is, uh, you know, look at your surroundings, look at things about you. And I used this uh, picture that I took and I used a word that defines me. So I started with that. 
and uh, this is a poster i created by hand it's a screen poster and it looks it reads the words imperfect um but actually it says i am perfect because there's so much of like you know the perfectionism and perfectionism so i kind of made like a typography layout and uh, that's who i am i'm not perfect i'm imperfect but at the same time i am perfect in my way so i am authentic in my way so i i said i'm going to include this as a part of like the layout but what i'm going to do is kind of increase the size so i can make it like go on to you know this much and you guys can do any amount of collages put in any you know uh, dub, uh, make this in multiple like i'm just going to copy paste this copy paste means make another you know one more copy of it and then maybe you know put it in this way and then that becomes my layout where i um, you know i'm increasing increasing the size now so that i can include a big portion of it and then that becomes my layout but what i want to do is change the angle to make it a bit more dramatic so i'm just going to oops it's gone up i'll just get it down uh what happens is it's gone in the earlier page so i'll just put it down i'm just dragging it down um so it becomes this way so i just have like this uh, you know typography layout which i have and uh, there's another thing where you can switch off the guides so when you go on to view these are the git grids and guides so you can show guides that can show you the guides or you can like hide the guides okay so we included this pictures and in the last page i wanted to include something which was uh, what's in my purse because that defines who i am so i'm just going to uh, so self portraits don't have to be you know just uh, your photograph it has to be things that define you uh, another thing i thought of like i can take a picture of my bookshelf so that you know these are the books i read and that says a lot about who i am so i decided to open my purse and the things which i carry usually are something like this like i'll have you know my pods i'll have a planner i have my glasses i'll have my keys my wallet and then just some knickknacks like a perfume or a spray or like i have my hand cream blah 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 so what i decided is just to take a photograph of that and place it on the end so here i have used the entire space but i can you know make it but i like the entire space because i like the way it's just bleeding out and then i'll do my layout inside okay so uh sampada i know i'm running a bit late on time vandana uh, uh, but um just can we extend it a bit is that okay yeah so i just have to do two more things on character and styles Yeah. yeah it's definitely okay ma'am okay all right so now we're just going to set up uh, character styles and paragraph styles quickly and then i'm going to add in something over here which is uh, which is a little bit more in depth about you know uh, your personality so it becomes a part of your self portrait but before that we're going to set up paragraphs now to answer all your questions on you know making this for newspaper and for magazines what is the thing that we have in newspaper and magazines a lot of content a lot of text and we need to set it up type setting is the term that is called and or if it's a book you know you're designing a book or a novel or a coffee table book anything there's a lot of text so what happens is we can't sit around and make ek ek paragraph no bahut time lag jata hai so what we need to do is have certain you know Uh, set templates so it's almost like you know if you have if you're making um if i i love to give cooking analogies but theek hai you know garam masala hota hai ghar pe to wo set hai na aise nahi ki itne sab masale lo har time piso aur kuto uh, i hope i'm uh, sampada is okay if i'm using a bit of hindi right it's it's fine right i i mean it's yeah, just something i just you know uh, it just happens you know when you start talking yeah. you just want to have like the and our languages are so beautiful so yeah. um, and you know no, sometimes no, like a garam masala yeah exactly so garam masala har time to kootte nahi hai because it's too much of a hassle so you keep it ready ki hamesha ye dal banayenge ya ye biryani ya jo bhi banayenge to dal denge right so this is something which we keep ready so these are ready made things uh, now what we going to do is take into paragraph styles and paragraph styles is you do new paragraph style what it means is we are making a equivalent of a garam masala mix so what i'm going to call this is body copy now what is body copy mean meaning the the body the main area of the whole book this is going to be the style of it okay so we're going to call it body copy and then again the similar things which are important i'm not going to go into all of these things it's a lot and um my love for garamond is obvious to you guys now so i'm going to use garamond and i like to set the setting on nine points i like smaller tinier things uh, i don't like very big text all the time 
for body copy because you know it's easier to read so okay we will do uh, nine points and the leading leading is the between the lines how much is the gap okay so i'm going to set this to about 11 points because i like that much of a you know a space and then that's it we don't need to worry about this the only thing you need to click is on ligatures i won't go into detail as to what ligatures are but ligatures is basically you know when a o and a e is together so odd nahi lagta hai wo setting barabar ho jati hai but the visual setting so just keep it on right now don't worry about anything else and the other thing i like to do is um, indents and spacing advance you don't need to do this don't worry about it indents and spacing is if you need to align left or right so i want to align left alignment to everybody knows now center life left me jana hai right me jana hai center me rehna hai okay that's what it is and then we have tabs tabs is you know because you want to leave space so this is great in terms of newspaper if at all uh, in terms of type setting or if you want to you know do like any indentation or tabs but otherwise you don't need to do that and then um we have paragraph rules doesn't matter just keep the things on the thing that is important here is hyphenation and justification hyphenation you should keep it on because you don't want to cut words in a very you know too many cut words hyphenation means sentence is there word is over here column khatam ho jata hai then you make the sentence on the next one and then it hyphens it automatically so i would say this is the setting that i use you can see this later and pause on it and this works okay and then there's a justification justification is if you want to fully justify or you want to partly justify a line left in this is the only thing that you need to this is a setting that i keep on the 100% word spacing and all of that these are all you know set don't worry too much about it and a drop cap drop cap is when you want a big letter and a small letter next to each other then you align it we don't need it right now then there is the bullet and numbering if you want to number something i'm not numbering it now and then there's a color so i'm going to keep my body copy to a black color this this is all your color things will show up here if you want to put a 100% tint or whatever don't worry about these right now we can do this later and then you have your underline uh don't worry about this we're just going to go ahead with this right now so i made a paragraph called body copy theek hai now this body copy is show in my paragraph style it's going to show up here now what does this do for example i take my text paragraph and i make a text box here and i want to start typing something okay this is putting some random text right now now i don't want to sit and like change this on every page so i am just going to click on this and this will adjust according to the settings so then every time you have a new thing you can do that now if i want to connect one paragraph to the other means i have this paragraph but i want to have another text paragraph because i don't want to put it all together and i'm going to align it on my you know my grid so what do i do i i want to type more so i'm going to type more and i'm just doing this right now because you know okay but now i want to take this and put it on the next paragraph so i'm going to shut this and then there will be this little plus button that will come i take that and i i take that and i drag it to this so that means now i can just link all the text boxes with each other okay so you can again play these things uh later on you know in detail um and then link it as per now of course you can't see this so i'm going to make the background of this probably white just because i feel that i want to just you know make it white uh where is my color so this is just going to be white i don't usually like like to put it like that i'll arrange it later but for now i'm going to do this okay so maybe you know what i might change this background i do like this but i'm going to change this into something else so i'm just going to have like a more muted background for now and i'm going to i'm a big travel person so i'm going to put the city of new york it's one of my favorite cities this was a picture sent from a friend uh, by a friend from new york and uh, i'm going to leave this so you know my text boxes are just more visible okay because i want to make them like this okay um and then i'm just going to remove this and i'm going to change remember the paragraph style i'm going to change to the body copy and i'm just going to make the color white because i like to have that contrast and i think it looks nice you know as a layout now what i'm going to do is add a character style meaning i want a headline over here or uh, and then I'm, yeah and these i can i can just add more you know boxes because i want to have like multiple columns or whatever 
and I can arrange it in a way where it balances with the skyline. Now on do a character style, okay? So we're gonna go and open our character style. I think it's already open, but I have lost it on my screen. Um, hold on, this bit of it. Uh, okay, let's see. One second, where are my character styles? Okay, there it appears. Sometimes, you know, this happens. Okay, so now what is a character style? Character means individual, because now what will happen is I'm gonna zoom in and say I want to make this bold because I want this to be a headline or something. So I can't do this in a body copy because the whole thing is there. So what I'm going to do is do a new character style and I'm going to call this title, meaning whatever paragraph is there, there's a title. Now I want to use a sans serif font, which is a very nice, bold, amazing font. And I love Avenir, it's one of my favorite fonts. Um, and I'm going to have a black Avenir and this you know i don't need these right now what i'm just going to go ahead is the color um and the size of it and i'm going to have maybe a nice 18 points because i want it to be a little bold okay i'm going to leave it to 15 points and the leading i'm going to leave it to maybe like 18 points and i'm going to be okay because i don't want to do the kerning yet and i'm going to just save it so now this comes here so now i'm going to write title over here and I'm going to push this in the next line. So what I'm going to do is just highlight this and click on title. And so there we have. So every time I want to add a title, I can just do this. I don't need to, you know, add it individually. Uh, I can adjust the paragraphs, whichever way I want and add the title. Okay. So this is your, and you can keep adding. Now I want to italicize something. I want to, I do an italics. So I'm going to take another i'm going to do new character style and i'm going to call it italics italics body copy because only these this certain word i'm going to so i'm going to base this on garamond and it's going to be garamond italic and the size is going to be nine points remember we took that as a body copy and 11 and i'm going to save it so now every time i click i want an italic because i want to make this paragraph italic or this word italic, I'm going to click on it. And if you can see it, it becomes italic. Okay. So uh, now remember that, um, yes. So the question was, you know, the two, two, two type Greek setting. I'm just going to save this. So remember the preferences we went in the beginning and I did the Greek text. So we're going to go back to display performance and say I make this 10 points. Okay. Okay, now what happens is when I do this, can you see the way this text becomes? It becomes it, it becomes lines, it becomes linear. And this is me looking at it. But if I change it to two points, uh, and you'll come to know this later on when you're doing like layers and layers of, uh, you know, uh, you know, documents. So when I go in, can you see that the text remains at that? So that's the visibility. Now this is very needed because I can't have lines. If I have lines, I won't know how many texts are up and down, you know? So that's where uh, the display uh, performance, uh, the change in the Greek text, okay? All right, so now, so these are the basics. Now I have gone over the basics of what you need in a layout. You need images, you need text, you need to format the text. You can set up your master pages. And, you know, here I'm gonna have uh, another title and I'm, I'm going to call it, uh, you know, uh, like bag or whatever, or bag details. And that's it. I'm just going to have that. And I'm going to do another, I, I may not want to do, um, you know, I may not want, I, I might just want to do a random title, like a Bodoni title or something, and not do a, a paragraph style because I'm going to use it only once. And that's it. I just want to have, uh, sorry, I wanted to do this in caps. So bag. And then I just want to have a really funky, you know, uh, typography thing going on, um, like big, uh, you know, letters all through. So I'm just going to go and make this into 400 points, suppose, for example, and increase this and, you know, have this typography going in. And it doesn't need to read fully. And again, because I use love using white a lot, I'm just going to go ahead and make this into white. And then I'm just going to write down either my contents or I don't need to have text boxes. And um, 
I'm just going to maybe write like these are the things, uh, just one quick paragraph saying these are the things that define me. I mean, I'm just, you know, I, these are just, I'm just doing this as a, it's, it's, I'm just, it's the top of my head. Like you don't need to do things like this. You can just do whatever works for you. So I just write, write, write this thing where oh, it's not gap. So I'm just going to use it as a body copy. Um, okay. And uh, it's white. So I'm going to change that into black. I'm just going to change it over here. I'm not going to, because we're just kind of running out of time on that. But you can make as many, you know, things. And I'm just going to write, these are the things that define me. And then, of course, it's self-explanatory. And what I'm going to do is I like to increase the lighting so it looks kind of tracking and like another lighting, the tracking because it kind of looks fun. So I'm just going to increase it to like 200 points, or maybe like this is where I increase it to about 500 points. Um, sorry, it's not happened. I'm just going to make it happen quickly. Okay. And uh, you know, this is like, yeah, so this becomes one layout. It says these are the things that define me. Um, maybe I want to place it over here or anywhere else because I like the way it reads. So I'm going to just put it over here. And uh, there is some type error. And I'm going to increase the leading a bit. So the leading is, um, one second. My, my mouse got frozen right now. The letting is 11, but I'm going to like go ahead and have like, and this kind of works. So this becomes one page. This becomes one page with, I'll tell you what I'll fill in here. I'll open the other layout. And this becomes my, you know, uh, start. And then um, I'm just going to quickly save this. And I'm going to show you how this looks as a PDF. So what I'm going to do is, um, you know, uh, export it. Um, this is the thing that you do. You export. It's command D. Export means how you ship the file out. I'm going to call it uh, self portrait. And this is for a print version, but we're going to do an interactive version. You can do an EPS, HTML, JPEG, either way. So I'm going to do an Adobe uh, PDF one. And then I'm going to save it. And I'm going to have uh, as spreads. And, uh, you know, all of these things will be there. And I'll just go over one other thing later. I'm going to do OK. I'm going to create a PDF. I'm going to export it and then we're going to open and see how it looks. Um, it'll open by itself, kind of, but I'm just going to quickly shut this because it'll take time and I'll show what I wanted to add in the other thing, the detail of. So this is how it opens. Oh gosh, one second. I want to open this in another. I don't want to open it in Acrobat. Just a second. I'm just going to open this as my preferences and my preview. So this is how it opens. This is how the final thing will look. So if you print it out, or you you know, want to do digital format, you have the second spread because it opens. It's like a book. And then you have this. And you can do individual pages as all well, where I wanted to do, um, you know, I wanted to do like a spread so that it opens like a booklet, but we can do individual pages as well. I'm going to save another version of that. And I'm going to save another, I'm going to export another one. And again, save it. I'm just going to replace it. And I'm not going to do it. It's just going to go like pages. And then I'll show you this one other thing which I want to do in the center thing, uh, which if you have time, I will happily go over it. Um, oh gosh, where did I save it? Um, hold on. There you go. And I'm going to preview open it. And then you can save it like this. This is a bit low res. So this can be the second page. The third page can be this. And the fourth page can be this. Yeah. So this is a kind of, uh, so I decided to take things about me, uh, words that define me, art that I have done. You can have pictures, places I like to travel, and things in my bag. So it couldn't be anything. It can be anything at all. These are just the things I have picked up. Uh, so I'm going to quickly show you another assignment that I did because it, it takes time. But I'm going to quickly do that one. Uh, it's similar to this, but it's a little bit in depth in terms of, you know, the second page. So what I did here is, uh, this is my bedside table. This is a book I'm reading. 
I was reading this and, you know, like a couple of weeks ago, this is like, you know, how it looks from top. And I wrote, an, I wrote like, I call this the hazelnut latte because that's my favorite be beverage. And then I made uh, these individual things like, um, you know, this is a character style. This is a, another character style. And this is, uh, you know, this is a whole body copy. And I've just written like something on hazelnuts just because I wanted, and I called it latte and, the, and Lamont because Anne Lamont is the author. Um, so I decided just, you know, I want to take this as my opening page. The second page is this assignment, which I did, which is called My North Star. And I can do that if we have time. Um, it's just basically North Star is when you say, uh, you know, what is your guiding path? And these are the things which I like doing. And uh, it defines my guiding path. So, and then I just filled up a few things and we can, you, we can do this later if at all. But the layout is done in a way where, you know, there's typography, is the same image. There's a bit of sketch and illustration and it talks about me. This is my, it's, a, it's, a depth, it's an in-depth portrait. And then of course the last one, what's in my handbag and just like details as to when did I buy this and music. This I made it into music because I'm big into music and my pods are always there, music is always on. And all of these things, these are the paragraph styles, taking the image, making like, you know, color schemes, um, you know, everything that we uh, spoke about using the basics of InDesign. And what we're going to do is I'll, uh, yeah, the other thing which I can do is we have to see the usage. So I'm just going to quickly see whether this resolution is okay. Um, I think it should be okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to again export this. And then I'll answer your question. So that you, when you export it, we know how it looks, you know. I'm going to do this as spreads because the middle thing is a spread. So this is okay. Don't worry. This is CMYK uh, uh, RGB. Don't worry about it. This is all later jargons. Don't worry about it. And I'm going to quickly open that as well so you guys can see how it looks. And the reason it looks better like this as a PDF is because an InDesign uses low-res images. So this is the hazelnut latte. It's my article on this. Then I have my guided star, my north star, and my guided path. Uh, and we can talk about this. And the last page is this. And this defines like, uh, you know, it, it's a layout. It's a layout of how everything is arranged. Yeah. Uh, and that's that. So um, I'm going to stop share for a bit. We're going to answer questions. Um, and then I can talk about uh, the whole North Star assignment if you guys want in detail. Um, and if uh, if not, and we're up with time, then I'm good yeah, to go. So yeah, Sampata and uh, Vandana, you guys can let me know. Yes, ma'am, there's a question for you. Can I create self uh, Yeah, can I create self-ported on phone? Does the DOP app compatible with iOS? Yeah, so we can't do these. Uh, so uh, um, the softwares are only for desktop. We cannot, if you want to do something on a phone, then you use an app called Canva or something like that. Um, these are desktop softwares. That means you need your keyboard and your, you know, your laptop and your screen. So we can't use InDesign on the iPad or the phone, iPhone yet. But um, there's a reason behind it. It's uh, layouts is uh, when you're doing serious layouts, like when you're doing books and newspapers, phones are not to be used. Smartphones are for other purposes. It's like you can't program code on a phone. You need like, you know, the right software for it. Or you can't do, uh, you know, CGI and After Effects on your phone. You need the software. And softwares are reasons things become and look great. So you can't do it on the phone really. All right. And any other uh, things that you guys want to, you know, um, talk about or any questions or if this worked or it didn't work, uh, let me know the feedback. And, um, you know, if you guys want to have time for doing the North Star assignment that defines you, I can do that. And if not, we can go ahead with whichever. So that's uh, you guys can decide. I guess, mom, we are good to go. And it surely worked. I personally learned a lot. So thank you so much, ma'am, for spending your valuable time with us. We have learned a lot from you about design, shortcuts, creativity, etc. And we'll surely make use of this knowledge you shared with all of us. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And uh, you guys can, um, if you need any help or anything at all, uh,
you guys can connect with me on my email uh, that's fine and um you know just any questions or anything yeah feel free to connect me with me on my email yeah okay, all right thank you so much thank you all for attending the session i kindly request everyone to turn on their camera so that we can take a virtual picture so people can you please turn on your cameras so nice to see uh, you know such beautiful faces behind the gray boxes thank you so much that's it's really nice because uh, you know zoom is great but it's just when you see emotions it's it's just it's really nice so i hope uh, i hope you guys uh, like like the basics and uh, yeah if you have guys have any questions later let me know yeah yeah now i request you all to fill up the feedback uh, feedback form by accessing the link in the chat box also you will be receiving your e certificates within 5 working days and if you have any questions feel free to just put that on the chat box emilio yeah, the the link is there in the chat box you, you can just scroll up and yes if everybody wants to do their own version of the self portraits and what defines you guys stay authentic to who you are um our individuality is what will take us further because otherwise everything is going to be ai and uh, you know just stay true to who you guys are and the thing that you don't like about yourself or something that's going to be your best unique point so never change like you don't need to fit in just be different that's all and that's why i wanted to be doing the self portrait because uh, you know we all have that to offer otherwise it's going to be we we are not siri or alexa right you don't want to be an algorithm so you got to be yourself so i hope to see your self portraits all right so uh, yeah sampada we uh, ready to sign off or is there any other thing that you know we can we need to wait in no oh, ma'am thank you very much and i can see a lot of comments appreciating the webinar and oh how sweet thank you guys thank you yeah it was a very insightful discussion and the class and so thank you so much ma'am for joining us all right thank you all right so should i leave or do you want me to be around vandana and sampa let me know vandana Vandana have you taken the picture